welcome back to Scarlet Rage Vintage. How are you doing? I'm really happy right now. You may have watched the previous video where I was at Viva Las Vegas. That was amazing. Um, but now I have finally regained my voice, so therefore I can talk to you. I'm going to do the best looks of Viva 2019. So I um, did a little mooch through old Instagram, said Instagram, and I screenshotted all the people that I thought were really knocking the ball out of the park. So first I want to start off with Vintage Roz. Oh my god. It's like this black gown with, she's got a hat that she's wrapped the chiffon around her waist and then she's got like this peekaboo back uh, cut out which, yes, I'm into it. Yes. Next one is a classic, she, I mentioned her last year and I'm going to mention her this year. It's Dana, I, aka Victory Girl Vintage. Damn, she is wearing another swimsuit that I am to die for. Uh, she's wearing the palm trees. I think I can't remember who it's by, and a Chanel um, cover up, which I'm super into. It's kind of really simple, but yet you just can't complain with her body because damn. The next one is Angie Dot Amelia. This is obviously a reproduction dress, but. I think it's a reproduction dress because this print has been reproduced so much in the past couple of years that I literally can't tell what the originals are and what the repros are now, but I'm into it. So it's like this pale, dusty, baby blue uh, dress with these beautiful like triangle details on the waist and this little like marabou feather hat, which I am kind of into. It gives me all the feels. I'm into this. Now, Let's go back to a guy that I actually walked up to him and I think he thought I was absolutely batshit crazy. I spoke about him last year and he didn't, he basically outdid himself again this year. I mean, I think he's probably the best dressed man uh, at Viva. It is the 1920s special and he is wearing this two tone colour block cowboy western trouser suit with grey and mustard yellow. And I have living for it especially with the purple accent of the tie the neckerchief tie i'm so into it it's and then also his boots are like amazing i am i mean it's good i actually walked into up to him and i was like i love you like i love this look and he literally was like oh thanks <laughs> i was like okay bye then another one which was a classic but simple yet effective kind of a number was Texas Time Bomb. Met her, walked up to her because I took a photo for her for the Vintage Woman because we're doing Street Star stay, uh, pages within the magazine, which probably by the time you watch this may be out. Go read it. There should be a coupon code. Use the coupon code. If you don't want to use the coupon code, pay us the £1.50. It goes to support us because we worked our asses to put this 120 page magazine together. I'm so happy with my team. Am I digressing? Yes I am. Let me bring it back into the room. Getting back to her outfit. It is a feather 40s dress with the feathers coming off the neckline and then coming up from the on off the hem which I was thought was really cute and her partner, I think it's her partner, I don't want to make any assumptions, but he's cute too. I thought that was a cute look. The next one, now I have to give this woman props. She is the judge for the swimwear competition. She is the socialite of Viva Las Vegas. It is Miss Dottie DeVille. Now, girl, if you know Dottie DeVille, if you follow Dottie DeVille, you will know she is an icon, a vintage icon. And I love her wappers. Not gonna lie, if you don't know what a wapper is, Google it, I won't explain it, it's English Cockney. <laughs> Sorry. But she, <laughs> I love this dress of her. Maybe you'll understand the whopper thing when I show you this here. Um, it is her in a velvet uh, green, I want to say it's fringe skirt with rhinestones and a loose sight handbag. Well, we know we I love a loose sight. She's a queen and an icon and uh, she's got to be. And her look for the swimwear competition was amazing. Like she had like these sunglasses that were like 60s round and then they had chains and hooks and like no like actual ear hooks and it came in and looked like an earring. I was into that look. That, that look was great. Next is uh, also an icon that I kind of really, really, would like to marry. Um, it's Vivi Venom. If you don't follow this woman, 
follow her, she's amazing. If you liked my wedding, her wedding is totally opposite to mine, but gave me all the feels. Like, literally, if I could have uh, dragged my whole family down to a cemetery, and they would have been cool with that, I would have probably done the same as her. <laughs> Getting married in Hollywood Cemetery. Ding! But she did like this um, play suit with a silver um, snake that wraps around the neck, and then she t teamed it with like this like silver sequin belt, and, and red hooker heels, because I love a hooker heel. Support your se local sex workers. There's nothing wrong with sex work, just an FYI. Um, but I am so into this look. The next one is, well, I follow this woman on it, on Instagram because she gives me all the feels. Like, I think she's probably a bossing babe, and I'm very much into that. And she gave me pure show girl realness. It's original right head in a blue sequin show girl outfit with the headpiece. My God, if that's not gag worthy, I don't know what is. I mean, let's just take a second. Breathe it in, absorb it. Because the moment you look at one thing, there's another thing that you'll go, oh girl, I am gagged. Like, she did a, a couple of rhinestone belts, then she's got an arm anklet, then she's got like this huge necklace, then she's got earrings coming. I mean, the attention to detail on this outfit is, above and beyond. My friend, Wendy, we've been speaking online, online, for a good couple of years, and she opened up her home to me and invited me to stay for the first night of Viva with her while the girls were driving up the next day, and I have to say, she is amazing. And I did uh, mention her last year, because she gave me that 1920s beach pajama look, because girl, that had me gagged. Well, this year, she won Miss Beaver swimsuit because she is queen and she totally deserved it. She was wearing a 1940s, it was a piece from a film and I want to say it's Jupiter Rising and it was the original swimsuit from there and oh my god she looked incredible, like incredible. I was very into it. I also want to talk about this woman because I just clocked her on my phone. D underscore Rose in a gold ensemble cut down tassel beading. Oh my god. Just give me life or marry me. Either way. I mean, the hair, the earrings, everything is amazing. And I am obsessed with that. Then let's talk about the Lucy Lux pinup. Her name is Lucy Lux pinup. She had a tri tone chiffon. Uh, I think it's a Lily Diamond dress that she was wearing, obviously 50s or 60s, uh, one-shouldered, chiffon, kind of, I mean, it gives me life, I mean, real life. Little Miss Madeline, I think I mentioned her last year because she had the colour block jumpsuit and I'm massively into that. Well, her and her bestie, uh, Little Ladybird, wore two 1930s spiderweb gowns and they gave me chill, like The Shining. I think that might win overall whole weekend. Just the photo itself of those two holding hands, like giving pure evils, it kind of scares me. And I don't really watch a lot of scary movies, but that made me kick my pants a little bit. So, and I'm into that. Then let's talk about me and my friends. Me and my friends at the Koi Show. So I. As you may have seen, I, this is my inspiration for the car show. So I wore my 1930s uh, original athlete vest, and then I put it in with some Palazzo, vintage Palazzo trousers, which if you watched my packing video, you would see. And then I wore my Bakelite um, dice uh, brooch, which was amazing. And then my friends all look amazing. Literally, we were the big hat brigade. I literally walked around, I was like, girl, I'm taking my hat off. Everyone is gagging over my swimsuit. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate that. That's probably the first time that I've been in like a huge massive area with people I know half naked. My swimsuit is from Charlotte Olympia. I got it in the sale because girl is thrifty. And it is the tiger paws uh, that basically there is nothing holding up your titties. So, it, 
and high waisted trousers, uh, high waisted swimsuit pants. And then the robe is actually from my friend Wendy. She lent it to me, and I wore some just reproduction um, pumps. And that hat is from Nasty Girl. And what uh, Lillian, Miss Lillian Love, uh, she managed to do is sew it, so it became like a brim come back and then into that. The outfit that I really loved and actually desperately want more because when I was there, another woman came up to me and she said she had the ensemble that I'm talking about in another colour and then she's seen it in a black and I was like, well girl, I need all of them. So, it is my uh, sarong two-piece, which I am obsessed with. But I want it in yellow and I want it in black now. So if you have this in a yellow or a black, I will pay you probably a stupid amount of money because I want them. Um, because they are amazing. And then, of course, I loved my, lived my best life at the Golden Tiki in my 1940s peplum dress in a clam. Um, and yeah, I think I, I think that's it. I think, oh, my friend Jess, which is Land of Lady Things, she is wearing this black robe with a with a hood and a little play suit underneath, and then the Adele Madrid sunglasses. And she looks like a gothic little red riding hood, and I'm so into that. So yeah, she gets a definitely a toot for that. But that is my kind of rundown for this year. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know how moving forward how much I'm gonna be able to put videos up because I am moving and not just once, not twice, but three times. So it's gonna be a little bit chaotic over the next couple of months. So I will try and make videos as best as I can, but bear with me. If not, go back, re-watch. I mean, I have like a, over 100 videos now, so. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, bye.